because it was good for his ratings. Yeah, 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 definitely. So I was just purely cynical. Yeah. All right, let's let's move on, uh, Bob. So long as it's not dying in a fire, then yeah. No, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I know. Rebecca, I gotta tell you, that that haunted me. That, that hurt me for a couple of weeks. Yeah. That poor little guy. I'm obviously still scarred. Wow. Oh my God. Have PTSD. Not really? Yeah. Just don't, don't sue me or anything, okay? I'm just the messenger here. Hey, hey. <laughs> we'll WTN at theskepticsguide.org is the email, or our message boards, sguforums.com. Give it your best guess. Good luck, everyone. All right, thanks, Evan. Well, let's go on with our interview. Joining us now is Don McElroy. Don, welcome to the Skeptics Guide. Hey, thank you very much for the invitation. And Dr. McElroy is a the former chairman of the Texas School Board of Education. He is a working dentist. He also has a Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering from Texas A&M University. And Don, you're probably best known to our listeners uh, as being at the center of the Texas uh, science textbook controversy, controversy from a few years ago. Why don't you tell us about your involvement in that? Okay, I'd be glad to. It was four years ago that Texas State Board of Education adopted new science standards standards is what they'll write the textbooks to. So the big controversy over science and evolution was the uh, standards that we adopted four years ago. And I proposed two standards that were adopted that require uh, the evolutionists, the textbook writers, to provide scientific explanations concerning sudden appearance, stasis, and sequential nature pattern of fossils in, in the fossil record, and uh, scientific explanations concerning the uh, complexity of the cell. And why did you feel that, that was necessary? Well, I just felt it's necessary because it completes the teaching of evolution. I think evolution has problem, uh, evidentiary problems explaining both the fossil record and uh, the development of the complexity of the cell. And evidently, Science Magazine, they reported on it, that, but then the, few, the next week, their next issue, they reported that uh, new Texas science standards strike a major blow to the teaching of evolution. So they must have agreed that it was significant. Well, that doesn't necessarily imply that they agree with your criticism, though, right? They just thought the same. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course not. They didn't. 